Hi there, and welcome to Royal City Nursery. I'm Erica, and today I'm talking about bugs, my favorite, one of my favorite topics of conversation. And the bug in particular today is actually not a bug, it is a moth, and it is now known as the LDD moth. That is the Lymantria dispar dispar, used to be known by another name, and the new common name that I've heard it called is the spongy moth. So the L I call it the LDD, so if I slip, that's what I'm calling it. The LDD is a huge defoliator. So that means that it eats all the foliage, defoliates, takes the foliage off of the trees in summertime. It was a massive problem last year, which means that there are masses of eggs all over the place. Right now is the time to be addressing that. So if we take a look at this oak tree that we have here behind me. Oak is one of their favorite foods. I'm going to actually, I did notice some who was on here earlier. I'm gonna take a putty knife or some a screwdriver, something like that. And I'm going to have that egg mass and I'm gonna drop it in soapy water and give it a stir. Okay, and again, scraping it off. Gently, so we don't harm the tree dropping it in soapy water. So these are the egg masses that have been left by the females last summer. They'll have a furry consistency to the outside, which helps keep them warm through winter, keeps them protected. Bugs or uh, other insects and other animals don't like eating them because of all this fuzz. So that's their natural protection. Got just a couple more weeks where the egg masses are going to stay as eggs. Towards the end of April is actually when they do start to hatch. And through April and May is when the eggs are hatching into the small types, the small version of the caterpillar. These caterpillars, if you zoom in here, Cass, they're very distinctive in shape. They're the ones that have, uh, they've got six blue dots at the front end and the rest are red dots. They're very furry. And when we can deal with them is when they're little. Or that's the best time to deal with them. Because there's no way I can get all the egg sacs off of a tree this size. My next step is tree banding. So putting a sticky substance of some sort around the trunk of the tree so that as the insects, as the caterpillars are climbing up the tree, they get caught and they can't go any further up into the canopy where they do their defoliating. Towards the end of May, the caterpillars have hatched out and they are on the move. So that is the time when they're teeny tiny is when you can spray BTK to catch them. BTK is a natural bacteria, Bacillus thuringiensis, the variant Kerstachii, that's the BTK stands for. And this is a concentrate that you mix in water and you can spray, spray up and down your tree as much of the tree as you can reach. This year we uh, managed to get it in a larger size as well, so we do have two sizes available to us. Once the caterpillar has reached about two and a half centimeters, they're kind of too big for the BTK to have any further, uh, be able to do any further damage to them. It's when they're little, the little crystalline shaped bacteria is what's doing all the damage. Once the caterpillar has reached uh, about uh, two and a half centimeters or larger, that's when unfortunately the BTK is no longer effective. That's the time you can be hand picking them. Uh, sounds gross, I know, but it's what needs to be done. Grab them, again, any caterpillars you have, drop them into um, soapy water. The soap is going to um, act as a, is, is gonna help with a, a, a swift and easy uh, termination. At the pupa stage, and again, you can see pupa here. We've actually got some shells from it in the tree still, but those pupas can be hand-picked off the tree and dropped into, again, into the soapy water. 
And the final stage of the life cycle is the adult moth stage. Now, the male moths are the ones that do the, the flying around. They are the smaller ones and they're a darker color. And they don't fly in a straight line. I like to call them the LDD moth, the loopy, dipsy, dopey moth because as it flies, it can't go in a straight line. It's always doing all sorts of looping and dipsing and diving. Um, so those are the males that do that. The females do not fly. They will stay on the trunks of the tree that they have pupated on and the males come find them and uh, then more eggs come after that. So while those males are looping and dive, diving around, that is a time you could put up a, a moth trap and lure and these ones have been designed to hang up in the tree inside of it is the instructions and notes on the LED moth itself it comes with sticky cards that you put inside and there is a pheromone lure pheromones are a natural attractant to the male moth, it says, oh, there's a whole bunch of females living in this box, come see. They fly in and they don't fly out again. So those are the main stages that we have of our, or all the steps that we can take to help to control the LDD moth. So keep our trees safe. This year I am expecting that we will have a bad case, but hopefully nowhere near as bad as last year. Thanks so much and take care.